Hey ladies and gents, welcome back to the vlog and today I thought we would do something a little bit different from social skills and talk a little bit about some CS related topics or computer science related topics. Um, I mentioned in the last video that um, right now at least the, uh, the most popular video that I have on my channel is the stuff that CS majors uh, say and the feedback was great. I talked to a lot of uh, great people in the comment section about different stories about their computer science journeys and things like that. So I thought I would keep the theme going and today talk about some tips for those who want to get into computer science, possibly in college or if you're thinking about it, what those sorts of things that you need to do to get into computer science in college. So right now I'm about a junior or senior in college, um, finishing up my computer science degree. I hope to graduate here very soon and then head off to grad school. But I was always thinking that I could, what could I say to help pass me out and like past me didn't know exactly what he wanted to do. I, I thankfully settled on computer science and happy with that decision. But um, since I go back, can't go back in time and talk to past me, I figure I can just offer my my thoughts and things to people who will listen. So first things first, if you want to get into the field of computer science or you know study computer science in college, things like that, it helps to know what computer science is, the, the literal degree computer science is as compared to some of the other majors like software engineering and computer engineering and things like that. Computer science is a very research-oriented degree, which is something I didn't know going in. Um, you're going to be using computers to do a lot of computing, so using them not as mathematical instruments, but looking at how a computer understands and how a computer works, things like that. Looking at how a parser works and how a compiler works, how it makes code into actions that the computer can interpret. You're going to look at things called lexers and linters, which have to deal with, like I said, parsing code, things like that and doing math and things like that. So very much how the computer thinks and how the computer works. You're gonna look at algorithms and things like that and designs for making computers efficient and get through computations as quickly as possible. And you are going to do a lot of math in computer science. A lot of people think computer science is a lot of code, but it is also a lot of math. Probably about 40% of it is math, or at least my degree plan has about 40% of math. Um, you can expect to take at least two semesters of calculus, so calculus one and two or differential and integral calculus. You're going to take two semesters of discrete structures, or sometimes it's called discrete math, um, which looks at logic and proofs and things like that, introducing you into how computers and logic works, things like that. You're going to take at least one semester of statistics. Um, usually there's a statistics for computer science majors class that you'll have to take that looks at data distributions and things like that, dealing with computers and probability. And there will be other classes that are in there that are just guys as computer science classes, but they're actually um, math classes, so combining math and computers together, but it's more math-oriented, things like automata theory, data structures, and things like that. Um, if you like programming and want to look at how you develop and maintain software, like in a, a job setting, it may be worth it to look into software engineering. So computer science, like I said, is more research-oriented, meant for not academics, but the more research side of things. If you want to get sort of skills for developing software and maintaining software and things like that, software engineering may be the, uh, the thing for you. CS and SE are hand in hand, they're brother and sister, so usually you'll learn a lot of the same stuff in CS as you do in SE, so you can usually pick it up rather quickly. If you like building computers and you like electronics, like circuits and stuff like that, you may look into computer engineering. That's sort of combining computer science and electrical engineering, and you focus more on the computer science side of things. So a little bit of double E sprinkled in there, but still mostly CS. And if you like delivering solutions to people, like how to build networks and infrastructure and things like that, and find or matching the needs of a business with the needs of technology, you can maybe look at management of information systems or information technology systems. There's a couple different names for them, but that's sort of like a halfway house between business and IT. So you can meet with businesses and help them build infrastructure and figure out what they need, things like that. But if you listen to all those and you said, yeah, I'm still stuck on CS, then congrats. You are probably fit for CS and we'd be happy to have you. So in preparing for CS, make sure to definitely buckle down in high school. If you're planning to do computer science in college, definitely focus on high school. Focus on math and science specifically. So take as many math courses as you can, get as far into the math I guess, ladder as you can and take as many science courses as you can. It always helps to take AP Computer Science as well, although sometimes the, the credit doesn't transfer, so it's still worth it to get a, a head up because you're going to be taking a lot of computer science classes when you get into college, so definitely take AP if you can. Um, take both the SAT and the ACT if you're in the States, and if you don't like your score, take them multiple times. You definitely want to have both those resources available so when you apply for college, they can look at that and sort of get an idea of you outside of um, just high school in those grades. 
And then of course, see if you can keep above a 3.0 GPA. Again, that's not a, a solid number by any means. I just, I had above a 3.0 when I was in high school and I had no problem getting into the state school that I got into. But if you wanna to go to one of the bigger schools like MIT, Caltech, Berkeley, Carnegie Mellon, you're gonna want way higher than that, probably closer to a 3.7 if not a 4.0. Um, so get that as high as you possibly can. Same with your SAT scores and uh, your transcripts and things like that. If you're worried about your grades in high school, that you said, hey, I didn't do so hot, or I didn't take those CS classes I probably should have, or you're just deciding now that maybe CS isn't for me, I'm still trying to figure it out, you can do what I did and then go to community college for two years. And I definitely, definitely recommend this because you will save a ton of money because you should never have to pay more than two grand to take English or something like that. But you can definitely, um, spend your first two years at community college and then transfer out to a, a four-year university. So you just do two at community and then two at the university. Um, definitely, definitely do this if you can, because you'll get your basic coursework out of the way, you'll save a ton of money, and you can also take some CS classes there as well. So every, every computer science degree plan is going to have computer science one and two, where you learn just like the basics of Java or the basics of C++, and you can take those at the community college level as well. And that way, if you figure out, hey, CS isn't for me, you're not broke because you had to spend a whole bunch of money at a university taking those courses. My one word of caution with that would be definitely make sure that the community college that you're at transfers to the other university that you're gonna be going to. If you have any questions on that, you can always call the advising office at the four-year university of your choice and they can tell you for sure if they, if they work with that particular community college or what credits will transfer and things like that. Um, even if you aren't sure about CS yet, at least go to community for two years just to get your basics out of the way and save all that money, like I said. Um, and then once you get all that done, you can go ahead and transfer to a university. So I spent two years at community college yeah. and transferred to a state school here in North Texas, and I love every minute of it. Um, so whether you go to a four, all four years at university or you just transfer in, um, here's where you actually get to start your CS major work, and that's where the, the fun starts. So again, like I talked about all the, the semesters of calculus and all the uh, CS-related courses, this is where those start usually. So that's where the, the fun starts to pick up. Um, and with that, the only real thing I could think of when I was thinking about this section or talking about, you know, university uh, level computer science, things like that, is just to offer snippets, like little things that I've learned along the way that helped me along and uh, will hopefully help you along if you're in college. So point number one or snippet number one, don't beat yourself if you get a bad grade or if you fail a class. If you work hard in your other classes and you make good grades in other ones, one bad grade isn't going to sink you. It usually balances out and then you just have to retake. Um, I actually failed integral calculus twice at the community level and then when I took it at the university level, I guess it was just a different department, different professor. It just clicked with me. So I failed twice and I'm still in school. So, But again, work very hard at your other classes. You have to make, again, like A's and B's to balance out that F or that zero grade point. So definitely work hard in your other classes. Don't like completely slack off. Um, Point number two, be ready to meet some of the most incredible people you'll ever meet in your life. CS students are the bomb. They are some of the nicest people that I've ever met and they're just happy most of the time, except when you start making fun of them or like engineering comes over and says, hey, you guys don't do anything. Then we all like become a pack of wolves and attack them. Just kidding. But CS, uh, CS students are uh, some of the nicest people I've ever met. Um, You'll really start to form like study groups and see sort of the same people in different classes and everything like that, and that's great. So you want to keep keep in touch with those uh, students because you make a special bond with them. I mean, you're in this hell-forsaken CS program together, and it always helps to have a buddy and know that you're not alone. So definitely do that. Snippet number three: Be ready to work in groups. You are an engineer of code and solutions and systems and things like that. Even though you don't have engineering tacked on to the end of your uh, your degree, the computer science program usually is in the same building or very close to the engineering building. So you are an engineer of sorts and engineers work in teams. So group projects, there will be many of them. Be sure you're ready to uh, work with people. And uh, keeping with kind of point number two, point number four is actually be ready to meet some of the coolest professors you'll ever meet in your life. CS professors are all CS students at some point and they get what you're going through. They also understand what it takes to get a job in the field and usually a good professor will balance the two. They also make really lame jokes, but uh, you kind of just have to laugh because they have your grade. No, I'm just kidding. Um, they couldn't tank your grade if you didn't laugh at your joke. But then again, I never had a professor like that. All my CS professors were really cool. So you're gonna meet some really incredible professors and they're really understanding and really cool and they, they're ready to help you out. Point number five would be, be ready to tell yourself that you can do it. 
CS has one of the highest attrition rates out there. A lot of people drop out of computer science, actually. One university I know of actually quoted that there's about 400 or so people uh, dedicated to CS, but every year they only graduate about 10 to 20 people. So if you figure 400 people in the CS field over four years, that's 100 per class. And if they're only graduating 10 to 20%, that means 80% of them quit. Kind of scary to think about, but um, just keep your head on straight, tell yourself you can do it, and remember why you're here, basically. So also, keeping in mind something a little bit more happy, point number six would have to be go to at least one LAN or hackathon at your school. It's always good to go to a CS-related party, and CS majors throw a pretty mean party if you ask me. The pwning your friends at Halo and Counter-Strike is always a, an added bonus, but again, just building that bond between you guys. If you live on campus, it's easy to get to these things, but if not, then you may take just a day or an evening to go to a, a gathering or something like that and have some fun. So. Don't be all about school. Go have some fun with your fellow CS majors and mingle a little bit there. And then point number seven, be ready to feel like you are the greatest program in the world and then go straight into feeling like you don't know anything. Um, that's kind of how computer science projects work. You'll start on an assignment, you'll, everything will be working, you're coding, you're happy and just like, oh, I'm a deity at this. I'm the greatest programmer to ever live. And then you run it, you get a bunch of compiler errors and you're just like, I don't know anything. I'm dropping my major and going to another school. But um, that's, that's sort of how it goes. Just always remember that there's no better feeling than um, having everything work and programming is just about the most fun you can have with your clothes on. So um, remember, remember that. Remember the excitement of programming and the excitement of building cool stuff and thinking of something and then making it real and having it work and getting to see all the wows on people's faces when you invent. And keeping with sort of point number five, there's gonna be days when you wanna quit. Um, and just remember why you started. This is point number seven. Um, you may have been that hacker who could have broken any game when you were little, or you may have been that kid that opened up your school's private or private file structure and then you showed your teacher that you could download their Excel workbook that had everybody's grades in it, or maybe you're the kid who made bat files on the school computers because the command prompt was disabled and you caused all sort of mischief, like making the, the disk drawer open like every 10 seconds or so. Whatever got you into CS, whatever got that original spark in your eye that made you say, hey, I definitely want to do computers for the rest of my life, or this is something I could do for the rest of my life, remember that, and remember why you're here, basically. And that'll keep you going. That's what's kept me going through all the times that I've wanted to quit or change majors, so definitely remember that. Yeah, those are just my couple points for CS students. I definitely hope everyone out there who's thinking about computer science is sort of now really set on computer science or maybe I offer you a little bit of insight into your uh, your journey maybe into computer science but um, either way we'll be excited to see where you go and if it's with computer science that's great if not then you do you it's all about what you want so as always friends thanks again for watching the video if you like the video leave a thumbs up if you didn't like the video leave a thumbs down I learn as much from the thumbs down as I do from the thumbs up and if you want to get a notification every time that we put out a video, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you'll get just that, a notification. And if you want to continue the conversation down below in the comment section, maybe tell a funny story from computer science school or anything like that, definitely do that. And I'm sure a lot of people will be around to talk about it and things like that. And lastly, friends, always remember that you are wanted, you are loved, and you are appreciated. You have a special talent that nobody else has and the world is waiting on you to bring it out. So muster a little courage, go out into the world and change it. That's what the world's waiting on, you.